Hey, have you ever experienced the relentless pain in your head that sticks around for way too long? Honestly, I recently watched my husband deal with that for four days straight. As he was curled up in a ball under the blanket, we were both left puzzled on how he fell victim to such a serious migraine attack. Well, the research is still developing, but we learned that his toxic relationship with sugar could have been a contributing factor. Let's take the next few minutes to explore the connection between sugar and headaches. Hi everyone, I'm Fantasia, and I know firsthand how awful headaches can be. Whether they're brought on by screaming kids, bright lights, or strong smells, the feeling can be brutal and there's nowhere to run. Now, despite how helpless you may feel, there are cases where you might have control over their onset. And sugar could be the culprit behind some of your most menacing migraines and headaches. So, if you can manage your metabolic health, you might get some relief. Glucose is a simple form of sugar that circulates in your bloodstream and it's a chief source of energy for your cells. This is especially true when it comes to your brain, which uses up the most glucose of any organ in your body. But like any high-end machine or mechanism, the brain is finely tuned and highly sensitive. Even the slightest metabolic instability can cause serious issues and disorders including brain fog, impaired sexual health, and even Alzheimer's disease. We don't know exactly why blood sugar fluctuations cause commonplace headaches, but some researchers believe hypoglycemia, also known as low blood sugar, might have something to do with it. When your blood sugar drops into hypoglycemic territory, your brain may perceive a potential threat or even suffer damage from lack of glucose. This could cascade into what's known as a tension type headache and can be triggered by eating sugary foods. Now, it's pretty common for your blood sugar to rise and fall over the course of the day. This change is called glycemic variability and it's totally normal metabolic behavior. But it's best to have smaller changes in your glucose levels rather than huge spikes and dips. Those dramatic increases and drops take your body on a terrifying roller coaster ride that can lead to those menacing headaches. What's worse is that migraines, which are more severe than your tension type headache, can also be prompted by these severe shifts in glycemic variability. Anyone who suffers from frequent migraines knows that they can be utterly debilitating and the brutal throbbing they bring is often accompanied by nausea and hypersensitivity. During a typical migraine, specific brain regions become overexcited, blood vessels in the head widen, and small proteins called neuropeptides are released. This leads to the activation of the trigeminal nerve, which is a part of your nervous system that sends messages to your brain about sensation and pain. Now, as conclusive as that sounds, there's still so much being learned about why glycemic variability matters to this process. But if you're trying to get a handle on frequent migraines, the evidence points to stable blood sugar as a potential source of migraine relief. In fact, here are four easy areas to assess when looking to end those headaches. First, diet. Focusing on your diet can have a significant influence on your glycemic levels. Plan your meals around whole, unprocessed foods that are rich in fiber and avoid those tempting sweets and carbs that are sure to spike your blood sugar. Second, exercise. The benefits of exercise are seemingly endless. A good workout is a tried and true method of managing glycemic variability. Just 30 minutes of daily exercise per week has been shown to promote a more optimized metabolism. Third, sleep. Your body needs at least seven hours of quality sleep to properly recoup and recover. Follow a similar wake sleep schedule every day and avoid screens for several hours before bedtime to prepare for a good night's rest. And finally, stress. Stress does not do the body good and can lead to behaviors and patterns that are destructive to our health. If you often find yourself in a strained headspace or anxious environments, just 20 minutes in nature can significantly lower your stress levels and help you to mellow out. If this video left you intrigued, you should give the full length blog post a read for more information on the links between sugar and headaches. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.